Hey everyone, welcome to another video. So, this is part 13 of our series on making our Roblox Speed Simulator game. Today we're going to work on the first upgrade. So I'm going to open my shop GUI, my shop, um, make that visible first of all. And in the scrolling frame I'm going to add in another frame. I'm going to rename this frame Upgrade 1. Now I'm going to go to this project here. Go over. Sorry if I'm rushing this by the way. Uh, it's because I've got stuff to do. By the way, position's going to be 0, 0, 0, 0. This is my second time recording this as well. Uh, for size, type in 0 0.25, comma, 0, comma, 0 0.1, comma, 0. Make the background transparency 1. Next, we're going to add in an image label. So click add and then image label. And then rename that to upgrade 1. No, just upgrade, sorry not the one and this will be if I go here the position on this is going to be slightly different uh, sorry I got that wrong here the position is going to be 0 0.622 comma 0 comma 0 0.697 comma 0 that's it for the position for the size we're going to have 0 0.34, comma, 0, comma, 0 0.266, comma, 0. We're going to make the background transparency 1. And for the image, uh, URL, ID, whatever you want to call it, uh, just copy and paste the one in the description. And then click on scale type, slice. Here you can put 6, comma, 6, comma, 7, comma, 7 in the slice center. For colour, I just have a green which is 0, 220, 0, but you can go whatever colour you want. That's that for our upgrade button just for now. Whoops. Um next we're gonna have our text button actually, yeah, let's just do that now. We're gonna have our text button. By the way, only do these positions and sizes if you followed the exact same GUI as last video, obviously. If of course you made your own, then don't follow these positions just do whatever positions you need just make sure obviously when you're moving size and stuff like with size and rescaling stuff if I do so here make sure you're not rescaling the offset like I am to so set that to zero change the set, uh, scale to point one and then you can like change the scale whenever you do it that's just to be safer the position on this is going to be zero 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 all with commas in between uh, if I get the size, uh, of course, yeah, size is 1, it's comma 0, comma 1, comma 0. Background transparency is 1. Uh, I'm just going to put the font as something special, I don't know, Source Sans Bold. I'm going to say Purchase. Make the text color white. And scale it. Awesome. Next, we're going to... We're going to have to add two scripts into this, but we'll do all the scripting after. So, yeah, now we're going to add in a text label for our name. So, if you just close the upgrade for now and go to upgrade one, just add in a text label. You can rename this to name. If I go over to my name here, the position on this is going to be zero for everything. And the size is going to be zero, comma, f no, sorry, 0 0.4, comma, zero comma 0 0.3 comma 0 for the size next we're going to put background transparency to 1 and we're going to say plus 1 speed per step basically what we're going to do is for every one step they take now we're going to give them one extra speed for this upgrade you're not going to do whatever you want but this is the thing I'll be doing this one I'm going to scale that I'm going to make that what font should I make that, should I make that? I'll make that Gotham bold Maybe change the color. I've got a nice color here. Uh, two five five comma one seventy comma zero is what I'll use for my color. And that's that. Next, we're going to duplicate the name. Actually, no, we're not. We'll make a new text label in general. And this will be our description. You can rename that if you want. I'll just leave it called text label. Um, and the position on this is going to be zero comma zero comma 0 0.21 comma 0 
I just put that for the wrong thing. Uh, yeah, that's for the head header. Oh, I've got rid of it now. Uh, yes, zero comma zero comma zero point two one comma zero. Oh, I'm changing the wrong thing. That's when to the text label. So that took me a while to realise. Uh, and my size is going to be one point zero one four comma zero comma four nine seven comma zero. I'm actually going to lower this a little bit and maybe make it uh yeah no that's all right set that to one on the transparency and i'll say uh this is the description because we changed this manually so just ignore this uh, scale that i'm gonna make it white um maybe that. i don't know because source sounds bold actually no i won't i'll go for the um off and bold again and obviously there will be more text than this so it will be it won't be this big so don't worry about that uh next we're gonna want to go for the line off i suppose yeah let's go for line off so now we're gonna add another image label this one's we're gonna call line off uh i did not mean to do that god um there we go. And right with this line off, the position is gonna be zero point zero zero one, comma zero, comma one point zero five seven, comma zero. Uh the size is gonna be one point zero zero nine, comma zero, comma zero point zero eight seven, comma zero. Now, once again, it's going to be the same image URL ID as before. Once again, in the description, Let's just paste that in without the hashtag. Um, for this color here, I set this as a darker version of the background, which in my case is 0, 0,17, 172. And then we go scale type to slice, and then 6677 on the slice center. And you get this nice kind of background, although then we just need to make the background transparency one. Yeah, you get this nice little cutoff point. Now we're going to go into our text button and add in two local scripts. One is just going to be called text, and the other is going to be called. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, fire event. Uh, so add another local script, and then this one will be fire event. For the text one, we are going to type out the following. So ignore oops, ignore everything here. Let me undo all this. We'll bring that down. I'll, if you want, you lot can copy all this so far. Uh, else just follow me and I'll try and explain it. So basically, it's a local player. Equals game dot players dot local player local leader stats equals player colon weight for child leader stats. So basically, what these two lines here are doing, this is basically getting the player from the game, and then this is waiting for the leader stats to basically appear in the player. Then after that, I'm going to say local points points with a capital P equals leader stats colon find first child and then points this is basically finding the points within the leader stats so let me just clear all this here I'll we'll say while wait if I could spell today do which is basically creating an infinite loop. Then we'll say script dot parent dot parent dot parent. Whoa. Dot parent dot parent dot parent dot text label dot text. Uh, replace this text label with whatever you called your description. If you just left this text label, leave it as that. And then this would be equal to um, backslash n for a new line. 
cost colon space dot dot player dot upgrades dot upgrade one cost dot value dot dot coins backslash n level colon space dot dot player dot upgrades dot upgrade one level dot value now basically we haven't made any of these variables yet but we're about to so if we now go into fire event this one's really simple um let's copy that there yeah this one's quite simple we're just gonna basically type in uh, before we do that actually we need to go over to replicate storage click add add a folder and we're going to call this folder upgrade events and then in this folder we're going to add a new remote event and this will be called upgrade one event and then we're going to type in to our fire event script dot parent dot mouse button one click colon connect function so basically when it's uh, clicked we're going to fire whatever whatever scripts in here we're going to run it game dot replicate storage dot upgrade events dot upgrade one event colon fire server this is basically firing the event within our replicate storage folder that we just made awesome now we got to do some stuff within the leader stats so if we just drop down here and say dash dash upgrades and then drop down and say dash dash and then upgrade upg r a d space one uh, and then here basically by the way putting the dashes all that does is um, it makes a comment so it's something that you can see but the script doesn't read so if you want to make comments about your work and stuff you can do that right, if you don't want to just crack on copy this uh, stuff down here but I'm gonna rewrite it out try and explain it although I'm a bit tired but so we're gonna say local upgrade folder equals instance dot new and then folder this is creating a new folder we will say upgrade folder dot name equals upgrades this is naming that folder we just created upgrades and say upgrade folder dot parent equals player and this is basically putting that folder that we just made inside the player I'll say local money, no sorry, points, as we've got points for everything. We might be able to change that, and I'll check um, later. You just leave it as it is for now, equals instance.new, and then int value. It's creating a new integer. Uh, Points.name equals upgrade one level. Points dot value equals zero points dot parent equals upgrade folder that's all that there then we could say local money this is now going to create the let uh, cost equals not money so it's points equals instance dot new int value and then we'll say points dot name equals upgrade one cost points dot value equals I'm gonna say 250 uh, that's the price by the way the base price uh, points dot parent equals upgrade folder and there we are that's it this should be an equals now we got to do one more thing I think one more yeah so we got go into our events yeah this is the last thing I think um, and you've got to type in a bit of code. Now this is quite a few if statements. It looks a bit overwhelming, but I promise it's not. Basically, we just if you want to crack on, as I say, just copy this down here. Uh, I know you can't see all of it, especially this line here, but I'll rewrite it. Game dot replicate storage dot upgrade events dot upgrade one event dot on server connect. This is the wrong. Never mind, it's not that big. <laughs> Get rid of all that. There we are. Start copying that if you just want to crack on. Colon connect and then function player. And here we'll say if player dot lead stats dot 
coins dot value is bigger than or equal to player dot upgrades dot upgrade one. So if I'm not explaining this one very well, everyone, uh, I'm quite tired. This is my second time recording this video, so because the last one didn't save properly, so it's just a bit annoying. Uh, if player dot lose stats dot value um equal uh minus equals player dot upgrades dot upgrade one cost dot value and so player dot upgrades dot upgrade one right, sorry about that dot value um where were we? Equals player. No times. We can just do times equals. And then here we'll say 1.35. This is the multiplier that our price will go up by each purchase. You can set that to whatever you want. That's just what I have it at. Now play, uh, say player dot upgrades dot upgrade one level dot value plus equals one. And that's it. That should now work. Oh no, no, we've got one more thing to add in our events. So if I go um, here, yeah. So if right at the end of this, you just want to add um, only on the first one. I'll do this. I wouldn't do this on the uh, game passes as well, as that would just be terrible. So I'd say plus and then player, uh, basically player dot upgrades dot upgrade one level dot value. I would only do this on the first because otherwise they're going to get so much more with the game passes and you just probably end up ruining the game. Anyway, I'm now going to hide the shop and let's test this. So let's go F5. As you can see we load in. Got our stuff here. I'm gonna set press F9, click on server, so game dot players dot e circuit free free or whatever your player name is dot leader stats dot points uh dot value no, actually I'm gonna yeah points dot value equals one thousand now I'm gonna copy that and then paste it again here. I'm just going to set my coins value to something different. Dot coins dot value. I'm going to set this to 10,000. And this will basically allow you to basically really just sort of test. So as you can see, I've got good coins and stuff there. Let me go over here, open this up. Yep. Cost 250. As you can see, each step I get 144 to 152. That's 8. So if I get this, I should now get 9. It's taken off my coins. If I walk now, it should turn to one six. Bad maths. Uh, one six one. As you can see, it works. And then it'll go one eight nine. Yeah. As you can see, I'm getting ten, and then so and so. As you can see, our upgrade works, which is really cool. So uh, I'll see you in the next episode where we might work on making another upgrade. Um, actually, no, we probably won't. We might work on stamina, maybe. I don't know what we'll do next episode. We'll see. But I'll see you then, so thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and bye.